Dearest Diary, My name is Chanel, and I live with two humans, Andrew and Natalie. I love them, but I'm very clever, so I also analyze them a lot. They act quite weird sometimes. Even my tiny but very wise brain can't understand them completely. So let me tell you about weird things I hate about humans. Number one, why are they always watching tiny screens? So get this, my humans were watching the rectangle again. The one called Tiwi. And while I desperately wanted to pee, I was barking at humans, but they couldn't take their eyes off. Unacceptable! At this point, I was suspicious that if humans are my masters, then the Tiwi is their master. To save them, I barked at this Tiwi and jumped on the remote, and finally, that thing went off. Humans were free, and I got to pee. But while walking me, Andrew was looking at another rectangle, much smaller. Guess it is called smartphone? But well, okay, I don't believe that piece of plastic can be smarter than me. But still, Andrew watched it and laughed and didn't pay any attention to me. Maybe if I could get into those rectangles, they would look at me more often? How can I get in there? Please advise me. Number two, big, loud animal who vacuums. Sometimes humans bring big, shiny monster with long nose. It's loud, it's scary, and it removes everything from the ground. I'm not a coward, so I just had to fight it and show who's the boss. I was jumping and fighting, but then it caught my nose and I had to retreat. Now every time when humans bring out the beast, I hide and think over how to get revenge. Don't you think I'm scared of it? I just haven't figured out yet what it actually is. I already know where exactly it lives, and when it sleeps, I am planning to get into its den and pee all over it so it knows I am the main beast of this house. I will destroy it! I have huge fangs! I am the descendant of the wolf! And I... Oh, look, a tennis ball! Yay! Yay! Number three. Why do they put weird smells on them? Once, Andrew was waiting in the corridor for Natalie. They were dressed up nicely, and then Natalie said, did you see my Chanel? It's in the cupboard, answered Andrew. No, Andrew, I'm not in the cupboard. I'm right here. Ugh. So I went to Natalie because she couldn't find me, but she was too busy putting some water from a bottle on her. And oh my dog, why did it smell like that? It was disgusting. Why can't they just go swim in the puddle outside like I do? It's like you get to smell nice, but also clean yourself. The worst part is that the smell bottle has the same name as me. I am Chanel. The only good thing is that that was Chanel number five, and I will always be Chanel number one for Natalie, right? Number four, why do they steal my food? The best moment of my day is when humans open the food door. I think hearing the opening of the door is my best skill. I'm a true survivalist, but sometimes it's like they try to open the door very slowly and quietly. You can't escape me, humans. You have to share, because sharing is caring. The problem is that they give me food just a few times a day. Why? Why not give it to me all the time, huh? If food makes me happy, then more food would make me happier. You can't get tired of food. But anyway, that's why sometimes I stash my food in the couch. But then they find out and look at me like I did something bad. And take it away! Of course I pretend to be guilty, but it's just unfair because when I try to take their food while they're eating, they get mad as well. Jeez, I just don't get it. Number five. How can humans keep cats at home? Not that we have a cat at home. Oh no, no, no. I would run away from home immediately. But once Natalie took me to her friends and oh my god, there was that horrible piece of fur she called Fluffy. Can you imagine it? That fluffy angel smirked at me and meowed that he would claw my eyeballs out if I invaded his personal space. My precious eyeballs! In general, keeping a serial killer at home would be less dangerous and a nicer presence in general. And then Natalie's friend took him on her lap and started hugging him. Honestly, I cringed. What next? Cuddling a sucking beast? Yikes! Number six. Why do they make me walk? When we go outside, Natalie puts me in a purse, and I observe the world and think philosophically about it. Like, does the butt of every dog smell the same to other dogs? And why do humans wear shoes? But then Natalie puts me down and I have to walk. Natalie, 
I don't have time for this. I'm trying to solve important questions, and I don't appreciate you making me do manual labor. Or feet eel labor? Potuel? Jeez, but then I find something to eat on the ground, and Natalie gets mad. Humans are simply illogical. Number seven, they are taking me to a human with a needle. Once I was very sick and everything was hurting, so Andrew and Natalie put me in the car and brought me to a strange place. And there was a woman in a white coat and the needle. And she made me hurt and Andrew and Natalie were holding me. I felt so betrayed at that moment. I thought, this is it. Goodbye, cruel world, sucking beast. You've won. But then after a day, all the pain went away. And all this time, Andrew and Natalie were giving me extra snacks and scratchies. Do you sometimes have to feel pain to remove the pain? I decided to check my theory, so when Natalie was crying, I bit her a little bit. But she didn't stop crying! Huh. The world is a strange place. Well, then I decided to lick her, and she hugged me. I hate that, but, you know, Natalie stopped crying. I thought about that a lot, and I couldn't find an answer why they do these things. But I love Andrew and Natalie, and they love me. And no tiny dogs or sucking beasts or smell bottles will ever change that. Maybe you can explain to me why humans do these strange things? Leave your thoughts in the comments. You are my only hope. Woof! <laughs>